Most people are familiar with the famous scene in I Love Lucy where Lucy and Ethel are in the chocolate factory and there's that conveyor belt and they're trying to put the chocolate in the box, but it's not working. And so they're starting <laughs> to stuff them in their mouths and their hats and everything. So why is this an important thing when it comes to your e-commerce sales channel? <laughs> My name is Heather Roberts and I'm the co-founder of RSG Sales and this is my co-founder. Josh Roberts. So why does it matter that Lucy and Ethel couldn't keep it together and you know we're putting the chocolates everywhere, mouth, head, foot, whatever. It matters because they didn't have the right kind of automation in place mm -hmm. in order to keep up with the, the, the speed of business and what they needed. So we find that they're kind of three little tips that really are important about why you need to automate your business. Yeah, I think one of the first and most important ones would be speed. And specifically, you're growing, so you're getting more orders. Let's say last year you got 50 orders a day, this year you're getting 200 orders a day, and you still want to ship those orders in time. And you wanna get them to the customer as fast as possible because e-commerce is speed, everything's about speed. That's right. And the second thing that is a, a big reason for making an investment upfront in automation is long-term cost control. So you actually can decrease your uh, labor fees and labor costs over the long term of your business. So in other words, it's less expensive and cheaper to automate. The other thing it does is it automation decreases um, the human aspect of mistakes. Less touches. Less yeah. touches. Yeah. So it really, it really makes a difference. And that really feeds into point number three is that different customers like say overstock they have different compliance rates um, in terms of when you should process the order how fast you need to ship it out and they find you if you don't we've had some clients that have uh, you know they felt like hey i got the order shipped and it was delivered within two days well that's great but you know what it also took you three days to get the order processed yeah, so, so that's a systems issue exactly that something like this would have prevented right so like more specifically Josh had a conversation yeah. with our client Tiffany yeah. and they'd gotten an order on the 18th right. and they shipped it out on the 21st. Well, here's the thing. Overstock says you got to get it out in 24 hours. Acknowledge in 24, ship in 48. Yep. And they didn't acknowledge and they didn't ship. And so she got fined for that. And, you know, that goes back to how it all ties together. Yeah. If you don't automate and have your speed, then you're going to end up spending more money because companies are going to find you. So find you, not find you, find you. <laughs> anyway. All right, y'all. Um, if you have any more questions about, you know, reasons you should automate and ways to do so, we would love it if you would click the link below and uh, book a call and we can help you out. All right. Bye y'all. Thank you. Thank you.